No intro needed today. I actually wasn't even going to make a video today, but Brittany and all the kids are taking a nap, and I got some funny videos to review, so might as well do it now, huh? Apologize, I got done wrestling Lucy. It might be furry, but I did let you know in a community post that I had a miracle happen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourselves. This ain't nothing but a miracle from my father above. Last year, I went live with y'all after going to a doctor's appointment to find out I was diagnosed with Barrett's esophagus. At the time that I went in there for endoscopy where they put the camera down your throat, I was at the end of the road. I didn't know what to do. I was eating Tums all day long. Nexium, Tums, I mean the heartburn just wouldn't go away. And you know, now that I look back at it, the first time I started feeling like I had heartburn was in prison. And there's only a few things you can do about heartburn in prison, right? They don't sell too much heartburn medicine. And when you're young, you don't buy Harper medicine. You're buying ramen noodles, honey buns, and, and you know hot sauce, all that shit. You're not thinking about buying medicine. But you know, I started getting Tums, and I would put in a sick call slip. It'd be like four days of Tums, you know, for 14 bucks or whatever. Usually, I never make sick calls like that when I'm locked up because, if let's say I'm sick, I'll put in the sick call slip, and you know, by the time the nurse comes with the medicine, I might already be healed. And that's like 20 bucks, you know, I'm not trying to pay 20 bucks. It's a lot of money in prison, believe it or not. That's like $20 to get me a couple J's in the pen. Shit. But while I was in prison, I had such bad heartburn that I would have to eat toothpaste or mustard. There was a couple other things like quick home remedies that you probably shouldn't be eating, but it gets rid of heartburn. But the most popular one in prison was toothpaste. This is not what I recommend anybody to do. I know it's probably not healthy at all. And it was probably causing way more damage than good, but... It will get rid of heartburn for, you know, a short period of time. Swallowing a little pea size of toothpaste. But anyways, I dealt with it. And, you know, it would come and go, come and go. And it finally got to the point where I was getting heartburn every single day. So I went and got an endoscopy done. I thought I may, might have had like an ulcer or something. Well, Barrett's esophagus is pretty much where your stomach acid is eating away at your esophagus. And it's kind of turning your esophagus into the same skin texture as your stomach. You're growing pretty much your stomach into your throat. And you know the hole in the bottom of my throat that closes up so that no acid comes out of my stomach into my throat. Uh, it was actually open by like two centimeters or something like that. Something small or whatever. But uh, they told me it was no cure. And I was going to have to be on a high dose of Nexium probably for the rest of my life. And Nexium, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, you know, it doesn't really have too many too many issues with it. it's just a heartburn medicine but if you take it for the rest of your life every day yeah your liver kidneys all that shit is it's gonna take a toll big time so i was terrified and i said screw that i'm 35 years old i don't need to take no damn pills 34 i was 34 at the time but i said lord i ain't gonna take no pills man I said just like that like he's my homeboy and I, when i say lord i'm talking about jesus and there's power in his name and there's healing, right? So I claimed it in his name. I said, Lord, I'm healed. I'm healed, you know? Just the other day, I went and got my colonoscopy and my yearly endoscopy, where I would have to get one every year now. That's what they said. I would have to go there every year since I got Barrett's to make sure it ain't turning into cancer. We're going to get to the funny stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. I told y'all I had a miracle, so I got to explain it, and I got to give all the glory to the Lord above. I told him I was going to tell my viewers as well. So I waited patiently about a week and a half for my biopsy results. In the Barrett's esophagus, there's no sign it was even there. It has completely not only healed, but completely regressed. My esophagus is back to normal. Everything is back to normal. There, I don't have to go in for endoscopies. I don't have to take no pills. I don't have to do nothing. I was completely healed. But that's my miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands behind your back. You got any guns on you? No, papi. No, papi. No, papi. I ain't your papi. Put your head down. No knife on you? No, papi. Nothing. You sure? Yes, papi. I ain't your papi. Yes, officer. Yes, officer. You hear me? Yes. Uh, uh, so what are you doing? I was smoking the, 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 the tobacco. Oh, yes. no, sure. no, 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 papi, no. You want to go home, papi? Papa! Are you calling me papi again? Call me that. <laughs> Don't call me papi again. All right, papi. All right, officer. Do y'all know what this is, ladies and gentlemen? I can't play the rest because he gets a little frisky, but do y'all know what this is? If you're thinking that's an outline of a body, you're wrong. 
That's an outline of a full-grown Fifi. I've seen a couple of these made in my time. I've seen a couple of these made in my time. Usually it was as a joke, you know, they'd slap on some tight jeans on that jank or something, you know, mess around. You know, they'd slap on some tight jeans on that jank or something, you know, mess around. But people ain't really doing this, at least I ain't see it. Because if they were, they'd be getting joked the hell out of But this shit's crazy, man. This guy's really using this. I'm not even about to break down what any of this is. Just go to the comment section. Tell me you've been to prison without telling me you've been to prison. Yup. Got the extra pair of uh, shit shower shoes to put on the toilets. Always have an extra pair of those for the toilets, ladies and gentlemen, if you happen to go to prison. Little toilet paper there for, you know. That little piece of toilet paper you just put down right there in the little family jewel region. It really don't do nothing. It don't do nothing. That's just there for your peace of mind. You know, there's just something there. A little bit of barricade just to make you feel better. Look, when I actually leave my cell and grace the other inmates with my presence, this is a completely truthful statement. Some guys will literally sit in their cell 24-7. And when they come out, I mean, it's like, damn, they're a new inmate. It's like, hey, nice to meet you, bro. It's been a while. I done thought they put you down in the chair or something. You wanna go hit the weight pit or something later, man? Nah, I think I'm just gonna go back in my cell. Well, all right, dude, you're cool as fuck, man. Check you later. You don't even know him, but he's just cool, man. There's an inmate next to my mom. They're in the hospital. <laughs> he better act right. I have my weapon ready. Some Honda Accord keys. Well, we seen that first video of the guy in the bathroom, right? And he was sitting down normal on top of some shower shoes. Well, this shit, I just don't understand. I ain't never seen this stuff done, and I'll be damned if I'ma sit down to take a piss. Especially reverse rodeo. Hell no, I'm not getting on that bullet reverse rodeo. Why would you sit down to pee? Maybe someone could break this down to me, because I've heard this done by a few other people. I didn't want to be rude, but over here, you know, that's like what we say to disrespect or dish rag someone. Look, if you want to shut the hell up, I'm going to make your ass sit down to piss for the rest of your bid. I've heard someone say that to someone somewhere down the road somewhere. Almost sure of it. But yeah, I'm not sitting down to take a piss unless I am taking a deuce. And then, you know what? Sometimes I'm so manly that I'll take a deuce standing up. Just so I ain't got to sit down and pee. Don't ask me why I'm so manly, but I am, you know? Still sits down to pee, brings a spoon every meal, wipes it down, puts it in his pocket. Come on, stop playing games, dude. If you're doing that, bro, you need to go to psych ward. You don't knock on the table. Shower shoes at home all the time. I mean, everyone does that nowadays. Look, bro, look. If you're still doing the spoon thing, you need to go to the mental house, man. You gotta let that shit go. And your girl can't be endorsing that by recording and pulling TikTok. Gotta be a joke, man. You gotta be joking around, right? This one's sad, man. Him and his brother reuniting after ten and a half years. This... Man. What? This is what people are doing after prison. Not putting their damn spoons in their pocket for the next meal. They're out getting some shrimp cocktails, ladies and gentlemen. At comrade underscore sink. After being released from doing 21 years in prison, my friend took me to Harry and Izzy's to have a shrimp cocktail. Look at this shrimp cocktail, baby. Put that down. Put that down over there. This one. Put that down. Get, grab that one. Let's go. <laughs> Look, those guys, the white dudes in the back, they're drunk as hell. They're, they're, about, they're having a blast. I'd have a blast. Bro, I've been right up in his face by go eat it, eat it, eat it. Ooh, ooh, welcome to Sizzlers. Oh. Who? Mama! <laughs> Damn. That's the reaction we was looking for right there. Damn and right, that's bro. that's what it does, you know? We wanted to, we wanted to, we wanted to do that. We wanted to do that right there. Amen to that, man. Look, he can't even chew it. It's just so delicious. Oh, man, it could this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Amen. Yeah, he took it like a champ, man. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs>